Hello and thank you for watching this week's vlog. Thank you so much to all those people that sent messages asking about my dad, just to let you know he's doing a lot better, so thank you for that. Also, a massive thank you, we've reached over 5,000 subscribers, we just can't believe it, so thank you so much to each and every one of you, and thank you to our new patrons. We've definitely made the right decision staying in the marina, just getting to chat to people outside at a socially safe distance, of course, but yeah, everyone's got a lot in common and we've got some great neighbours, so we're very happy that we chose this marina. <laughs> Adults, I'm not getting paid to say this. And also that we've made the right decision to stay in this marina for the winter. Well, we hope you're all well and safe. Thanks for watching again this week and enjoy the tour of the narrowboat. Welcome to our narrowboat. As you can see, the narrowboat is narrow. It's six foot ten wide and I can touch both sides. We're going to give you a quick tour of the boat starting at the stern or the back of the boat and we'll work our way through the boat. Well as you can see the stern of the boat acts a bit like a porch to a house, it's very handy. We've got Dexter's harness and lead, lots of boots for walking and yeah, these boots are made for walking. Coal, kindling, extra towels for drying Dexter on his way in. This is the control panel. of the boat. This is how you access the boat. Both these doors fasten back. Have a look inside. This is exactly how you would find the boat if you were to step on as a guest. We've not put things away that we wouldn't normally put away. We've had a quick tidy, but at the end of the day, it's our home, it's not a show home. As you can see, oak worktop, stainless steel sink and tap, our glass hob that we really like. So this is the galley or the kitchen area. Then you step into the dinette, with the duck hatch on either side. Dexter's bed, but where's Dexter? Oh, cheeky. Good job we got a cover on the sofa. Our oak bookcase, which matches the interior of the boat. Built in shelves. More so squirrel fire. And companion set. And our flat screen TV and sound bar that we brought, that we brought from the house. The LED lights really make the space feel larger as well. From the saloon area, step into the bathroom, which is about the size of the bathroom we had in our last house. It's just over six foot by six foot. Towel radiator, LED floor lights, sink unit. The mirror that came with the boat and our compost toilet and an extra bottle for the liquids I told you we hadn't tidied everything away from the bathroom you step into the bedroom built-in shelves the wardrobe's on the left. We've been waiting for an adapter so we could mount the Mac in the bedroom as well. And under bed storage. Love the black radiators. And we absolutely love these windows. You're probably wondering what we do with these windows behind us because there's no blinds but we actually bought these things which are called bungs we got them on ebay and uh, just before uh, these arrived we had to use cardboard at the window <laughs> because they didn't arrive in time but it's dead easy they just pop in like this dead easy with one hand <laughs> and completely block out all the light so it's um blacked out and stop some of the condensation as well. Electric 
toothbrush charging up there as well as Anthony's alarm clock. And a 12 volt socket and two USB charging points as well. As you can see the kitchen area or the galley to give it its proper term is compact but it's got everything that we need. We love the oak worktops, a 12 volt fridge freezer. I must admit it's a bit of a struggle with the small freezer compartment because we're used to batch cooking but we've learned to adapt and I'm sure we'll get on fine. The glass hob is very similar to the boat that we trained on KTK it's a very similar hob and we really do like the glass hob. It's a bit bigger than we expected but it looks great. That's all that matters. And the one thing we really wanted to bring with us from the house was the coffee machine. We do drink probably too much coffee. But our boat builder said that not to use this unless we're cruising or connected to mains at the marina. A compact microwave and a gas grill and oven. The steps actually double up as storage and the middle one pulls out and we keep Dexter's food in here. Not so easy to open with one hand but we keep Dexter's food in here, coffee beans, water, that kind of thing. And we'll adapt the top step to put shoes in eventually. This little cupboard on the left, a taxi spice rack from the house, Anthony does do a lot of cooking. And we'll go into more detail on the Eberspatcher and things like that in future videos. Keep things in here like Dexter's towels, and a tabletop ironing board and our walkie talkies. We put some extra hooks in here for the coats and our keys. And we also put uh, oh, the charger for the Dyson, so the Dyson charges in this cupboard as well. And lots of space down here for my camera bag and my tripod. And we put a little light in, some little battery operated lights at the top of the cupboards to give us extra light. Where all the magic happens, the fuse board these utensil containers we attach to the walls. And our stainless steel sink. The oak work top needs treating every six months with oil. We've also got this food caddy and it's just a shame that the CRT and most of the marinas don't have facilities to compost food and do recycling because we do like to recycle to be honest. Our washing machine. It's very quiet actually and plenty of storage under the cupboards. Just a quick sneaky look there. The pull out cupboards have plenty of room for the essentials like coffee and Jaffa cakes as you can see and another pull out cupboard on this side as well. Plenty of storage under the hob for pans. We've got two 30 volt sockets in the saloon and two in the kitchen as well, or the galley. Just to show you the amount of storage that's under the dinette, I'm trying to do this while operating the camera, it's much easier with two hands. There's most of my art supplies, mounts, envelopes ready for posting out, more LED lights and Dexter's favourite, well one of his favourite spots, as long as he's in front of the fire. In fact he sometimes gets too warm and has to climb under the dinette. There's loads more storage than we thought actually on the boats, plenty of space above the bed. 
for extra t-shirts, winter clothes, hats, scarves and gloves. And then out into the bow of the boat where you've got your lockers. That was our hose pipe for the water. Extra liquid bottle. They're not completely dry because the water has to run out when you fill in your water tank from each side of these tanks. And there's the bungs for the bedroom windows. We decided on a fixed double bed because we really didn't want to pull out bed and the hassle of sorting out the mattress every evening. There's more than enough room for all of our clothes in the wardrobe. We've actually put a couple of extra hooks in for the coats. And we had to get extra hangers. We didn't realise how much you could fit into these little wardrobes. Oh, and this is the gulper pump that pumps out the water from the shower, the wastewater. It's all the extra care and attention that we really like about this boat. Things like the chrome light switches, chrome handles, LED lights. Just lots of little extras that the boat builders really thought about. I'm really pleased that I have got room to leave some of my art materials out. We've also got this Nabru sofa with storage underneath. A lot more than we thought actually, the storage space. One side is for me and the other side is for Anthony. Rob even put this little shelf up for us for our cups and TV remote, that kind of thing. We just love the whole feel of the boat. My favourite thing about the boat are the two duck hatches either side of the dinette. It's just amazing when you pull up, open these doors, it lets in so much light. Love them. Well that's it for this week, I hope you enjoyed the video and the tour of the boat. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and please keep your comments coming, we really do love receiving all of your comments. We'd also like to thank our new patrons for this week, who are Paul Southern, Michael Sheldon and Diane Jones. Thank you so much for your support. If you want to look at my art, that's on the website, it's paulsart.uk, that's paulsart.uk. UK. Thanks for watching and have a great week.